prayer request. Okay, you request to God. What we do every week, intercessory prayer, right? You, you give your prayer request and somebody uh, who is in charge, you know, prays for your prayers. But I would like to stress something in, in this part of supplication. What did you see in the three parts of prayer that I was not seeking for? Anything special? I was not seeking for the guidance of Holy Spirit. Okay? The first supplication in your prayer should be the guidance of the Holy Spirit. All these three things that we saw, we cannot do in our human understanding or in our human uh, nature. Because human nature is what? Carnal. Right? We can't do anything but think wrong of the world and of everything that is happening. But it is the Holy Spirit which guides us into holiness. And so when we pray, the first supplication of our heart should be that Lord guide me through your Holy Spirit. We can't do one good thing without God's guiding. Even a person who does not know God has the characteristics of God when he does good. Because only God, what does the what does Bible say? Every good thing comes from God. Okay? And so we need to realize this as we uh, do our supplications, not, in, not just in corporate prayers, but in personal prayers and family prayers. Let me read to you something from uh, Matthew 7.7. 7. What does it say? Ask and it shall be given to you. But then James adds something in James chapter 1 verse 6. Verse 6, yeah. Ask in faith without doubting. How many times you kneel down when you are when you are in struggles, you kneel down and you pray for it, and when you when you rise from your prayer, you are hundred percent in faith that that will happen. For me, never. Because human nature, right? You kneel down in prayer and then you pray and then you start figuring out your own self. How do I do it? How do I do it? Let God work. Let God. Of course you have done your effort and you have prayed. Now let God work. That is the reason you have supplication in your heart. Supplication. God grant me. Right? God grant me. God grant it. And when you ask something, you ask in faith. Without doubting. That is very important. You see that? Thank you, Andrew, for that word. Uh, thank you, uh, Mark. Sorry, Andrew. Not. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. Are you? You have the scriptures in your hand, you have the character of God in your hand. Are you like a wind driven and tossed? Are you like the sea driven and tossed by the wind? No, we should not be. Even if I, even if we are, we need to pray to God to change us. Isn't it? Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need with prayer. Obtain what? Mercy. And find grace in the time of need. And so as we as we close the Acts model with the supplication, this is the best part. Today in, in our Sabbath school, we were discussing that Lucifer changed when his focus was on self. Okay? Supplication should always be first for others. You know, when you pray for others, God starts cleaning up your heart. Have you experienced that? When you pray for others more. When we start our family prayer, what do we do? We used to do that in our family prayer. God bless me, bless my wife, bless my child, bless my dad, and bless my folks living in India, and bless these people and our close friends. But what about that brother that you told I'm going to pray for you? You will be in my prayers. We forgot, right? How do we call everyone our brothers and sisters? 
We ought to live. As Christians, we ought to keep our word, right? And we ought to live what we said. And so if I've said somebody, I'm going to pray for you. First, pray for that person. First. Your family is with you. You do not know what is happening in his or her life. And so when you pray for others, God takes care of your situation. So supplication should first be for the burdens of this world, the cares of this, the, the, the burdens of others, how others are doing. And so at this time, what we'll do is, we'll have prayer bags. Okay? Did you have, ever have prayer bands in the church? Prayer bands means the two in groups of two or three, we gather together and we, and we pray. You can gather in groups of two or three or five, however you want, you know, and you can ask each other, what can I pray for? Okay? What can I pray for? And if, preferably, pray for somebody whom you do not know. Look at, look at somebody whom you know the least. And you can go to that person and, you know, because when, when you do not know, when you're not going to meet uh, so often, you can open up very well, you know that. <laughs> you can open up very well and you can tell, you know what, I want you to pray for this, I want to pray for that, and that person can tell you. Okay? So, whatever number of people you want in your group, you can do that. And uh, let's spend about 10 minutes in supplication, okay? 10 to 12 minutes as the time permits. Don't worry, this is the last session and so you can take your time in, in, in prayer. And after that we will have our closing hymn and benediction. Okay? Okay, before that, can I, can I know uh, if, if you remember all the four words, right? Supplication. Okay? God bless you as you pray together.